Hi everyone, what's going on? Welcome back with me, Nathan. In this video, I want to test out Kimi K2's agentic capabilities as an AI coding assistant. So, Kimi K2 is the new open source AI model released by Moonshot AI about a week ago, and it's been making headlines thanks to its impressive performance. What really makes Kimi K2 stand out is that it's the most powerful open source model designed not to just respond, but to take actions on behalf of the user. It's deeply optimized for agentic reasoning and execution, meaning it can handle multi-step tasks, use tools, make function calls, and navigate complex workflows with ease. And the benchmark score from Kimi is even more impressive. It actually goes head-to-head -head with, and in some cases even outperforms, premium models like Cloud4, DeepSeek, and Gemini 2.5. Kimi also released two open source models, first the Kimi K2 Base, a powerful foundational model aimed at researchers and builders who want full control for fine-tuning and custom solutions. Then there's Kimi K2 Instruct, a chat-ready, post-trained model designed for general purpose and agentic use cases. It delivers fast, reflects great responses, making it ideal for tool use, automation, and intelligent agent applications. Now, another big reason why people are excited on this model, aside from its performance, is the pricing. It's listed at just 50 cents per million input tokens with a cash hit and 60 cents with a cash miss. Output tokens are priced at $2.50 per million, which makes it an interesting alternative to models like Cloud Sonnet, especially since it already outperforms Sonnet in many categories. And the best part is that it's open source, so if you have the computing power to run this large model, you can even host it locally. Now here are some examples of what Kimi can do. In this demo, Kimi was able to use IPython to process the provided salary dataset and then perform an analysis to find if there is a significant interaction effect between remote work ratio and experience level on salary. After the analysis is completed, it creates a web page using HTML to show the statistical process and conclusions. In this page, you can see the descriptive statistics, key findings, visualizations, as well as key takeaways. And next, Kimi also manages to perform a comparative analysis of transformer normalization. First, it uses the 1db data reader tool to extract insights from language model experiments and generates a polished analysis report. The report is then created using HTML, so aside from intelligent tool use, Kimi is also good at writing code for all kinds of purposes. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Kimi K2 in AI coder tools such as Klein, RuCode, and KiloCode. Now, the Kimi K2 model is already available as API, which you can access from the Moonshot platform. You can open your browser and go to Moonshot console platform, I will leave the link in the description below, and register for a free account so that you can access Kimi K2. Now, keep in mind that Moonshot platform doesn't offer any free credits, so you need to purchase some credits before you can actually use Kimi K2. Also, note that according to the complaints on social media, the Kimi K2 is very slow right now, probably because of the unexpected surge of demand. Moonshot AI already acknowledged this issue and is on the case to solve it. If you want to test Kimi K2 for free, you can try out Open Router, which provides some generous free provider. Or you can also try out Request T, which will grant you extra $5 of credit for a minimum purchase of $5. I am not sponsored here, so you can just visit their website if you're curious. Next, let me show you how to set up Kimi K2 in AI coding tools such as Klein, RootCode, and KiloCode. Now, before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. Okay, here I have Klein, RuCode, and KiloCode already installed in VS Code. We'll first set up Kimi in Klein, so just open the Klein main interface here, and then go to the settings menu. Here in the API settings, you can change the API provider to Klein, and you can immediately see the Kimi K2 model listed over here. So just select the model to use it. Now if you don't sign up for a Klein account, you can also use other providers such as Open Router here. Just put your Open Router API key in this input box, and then select Kimi K2 from the model selection. You can try out the free provider, although it's rate limited. Next, let's see how to set up Kimi K2 in RuCode. It's actually quite similar to Klein, so you just need to go to the settings menu and then select the API provider that has Kimi K2 such as Open Router, and then select the Kimi K2 model there. Save the changes, and you can start using Kimi in RuCode. 
Finally, you can also use Kimi K2 in Kilo Code, but here you don't have to use Open Router or Request T because the Kimi K2 model is already available in Kilo Code's API provider. You can simply go to Settings and then use Kilo Code as the API provider. They also offer $20 in credits for free when you sign up. And then below that in the model selection, search for the Kimi K2 model as shown here. Select the model, click Save, and now you're good to go. Uh, let me task Kilo Code here. I will just ask, are you Kimi? Um, okay, it replied I'm not Kimi, I'm Kilo Code. Uh, yeah, I know you're Kilo Code, I mean the model you're using here. <laughs> so send that in, and yup, Kilo Code confirms that it uses Kimi K2 from Moonshot AI as the model, which is great. Now, I will use Kilo Code to test Kimi's agentic capabilities. In Kilo Code here, I already have three MCP servers installed and ready to roll. Here, you can see there is Access Search, Puppeteer, and Magic UI MCP. And on the left side over here, I have a vanilla Next.js project that was just generated. You can see the web page over here on the browser. There is nothing here, just a demo page from Next.js. Now, let's ask the AI to use Access Search to get the top 10 AI models according to Open Router, and then save the data as a markdown file. After that, replace the Next.js homepage with a 3D marquee component from Magic UI. Now, if you're not familiar with Magic UI, it's a free UI library that you can use for web applications. It has an MCP server to provide the design to your AI model. And here's the marquee that I want to use. It's a 3D scrolling cards that contain some information. So let's press enter and wait for Kimi to respond. Alright, now here, Kimi wants to use the access search tool to look for the top 10 AI models from Open Router ranking page. So let's just allow it. After a while, it will now create a markdown file and then write the data of the top 10 AI models. You can see this is something very similar to Gemini 2.5 or Cloud4, in which the AI can think and use tools that are available. Kimi is probably the first open source model that's very adept at using tools, and this is why people are paying so much attention to it right now. Okay, now Kimi wants to use the Magic UI MCP to grab the Magic UI 3D marquee component. So let's just allow it again. Hmm, and now it wants to get the marquee component detail, uh, so let's allow this. Let's give it some time to process. Okay, after it found the component, Kimi now proceeds to replace the home page with the marquee component. You can see how Kimi is also good at coding here. It understands the code base and then take an action to make required changes to it. This will take a moment, so I will skip ahead to when this generation is finished. Okay, after a while, the generation is now finished, so let's see the result. Hmm, we have errors here, uh, so let's get back to VS Code and... Uh, I think Kimi forgot to install the libraries required for this UI component. We can see the red lines in the editor over here, so let's ask Kimi to install them for us. I think you missed these components, try to install them. Okay, so Kimi knows how to run the terminal command as well. And now the missing libraries are installed, so let's go back to the browser. Alright, so this time we can see the marquee component. But um, while it does look like Magic UI's marquee, I asked it to replicate exactly like the demo, and this is not it. You can see here in the Magic UI page, we can see the marquee is in 3D even before the mouse hover to it. So let's try to change this. I will copy the component code here, and then back in Kilo Code, I will ask it to make the marquee look like the demo. Paste the code here, and then press Enter. Also, one thing I've noticed here is that the inference speed of Kimi K2 is actually really fast. It seems only the Moonshot AI platform that are having some issues with the AI output. Other platforms that host the Kimi K2 model, such as OpenRouter, Requesty, or KiloCode, don't seem to have any issue, so it's really good to know. Okay, so it has finished replacing the marquee component here. Uh, let's see the result. Uh, Alright, this is the marquee component from the demo, but it's not scrolling, and the data here is not the AI model's data. I want to use the marquee component and the data from the markdown file that was saved previously, but oh well, this is what we get for now. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below.
or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. Overall, Kimi K2 is still an impressive model that is smart, cheap, and fast. I could spend more time refining the prom and cleaning up this generated code, but that's not really the focus of this video. The main goal was to test Kimi's agentic tool use capabilities, and I think it did a solid job. Also, remember that Kimi is very much affordable, as it comes in at 60 cents per million input tokens and 2.5 dollars per million output tokens. In comparison, Cloud4 Sonnet costs 3 dollars for input and 15 dollars for output, while Gemini 2.5 Pro starts at 1 and a quarter for input and 10 dollars for output. That makes Kimi around 4 to 5 times more affordable than these premium models. Even though the Kimi platform API is currently a bit slow, you can still experience Kimi's impressive speed by using alternative providers like OpenRouter, RequestD, or KiloCode. All in all, it's a great option if you're looking for a capable, agentic model with low cost. I'll probably be using Kimi more often from now on. And that brings us to the end of this video. So, what do you think of Kimi K2 as an AI coding agent? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Koei Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. Grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.